Yella. Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Thieves Landing. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> it's starting to creep me out, man. I don't know if I trust your judgment, your taste in women. Let's go! You seem like you'd hold up with anything that moves. Yeah, so it was the marshal who hired me, Lee Johnson. Do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guide. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. That's right. I shut your gap. I'm prying into my business. Or I'll give you the backhand. You ain't very talkative, are you? Oh, no. oh. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. Chew That's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you're better off not knowing. Like I said, shut your gap. Or I'll be giving you the backhand. Damn coyotes! What a waste of good meat! Almost there, Mr. Marshall, just over this hill. Good. Not that I don't like the company, buddy. I just prefer to get to the action. Hey! Listen, mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> I got the feeling this is a setup. I don't like that man's laugh. Got a bad feeling about this. Knock, knock. Anybody home? Bill! Bill, I've come for you! Bill Williamson! Come out here right now! Get out here, you yellow belly coward! Go away now, John! Don't make me kill you! Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? That seems a little unfair, huh? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you! <sighs> implores. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Oh, now you've done it. Well? Uh. Oh. <laughs> Poor guy. Well, that didn't work out. And game over. It's been fun, guys. Hey, 
This one's dead. Let's get him in the wagon. Can bring him back and feed him to the cattle. I just assume that's what they said. Hey, watch my head. New friends, old problems. Awkward silence. Hey, baby. Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh! I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarland. Miss Bonnie McFarland. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance for old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna... Take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time... Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. She wants me. She totally wants me. Ow. Ow, my spleen. How do you do? How you doing, girl? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What you doing? I don't even know your name yet, jeez. Not that I don't appreciate the gesture, but who knows where your mouth has been. And on that note, <laughs> let's go see what Bonnie wants. Mr. Marston, back in the land of the living, I see. Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. Well, no time to waste. The horses are saddled up over here. Let's roll. By the way, nice place you got here. Maybe you could uh, show me inside later. There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws, such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Hop on up. He won't bite. What if he does bite me? Time for you to see what a real ranch looks like. Yo! Giddy up! Let's get a move on. So where are we going? Did you check out your place? Maybe the bedroom? To your right is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. Point me to the gun store. That's where I want to go. You got a gun store around here? 